They must not have lights or something. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, um, so we our graph is 9 minus x squared. We're going from 0 to 3, okay, where typically, usually, these regions usually always involve the y axis and then where they intersect the x axis. So they, they went ahead and told you that it was from 0 to 3. We're going to rotate this around instead of the x axis or the line line is negative 2, we're going to go around x equals negative 2. So we're taking it and we're going this way with it. Um, so you can see the 3D figure that's created here. It's, it's kind of like a dome. And then it's got a cylinder that's missing in the middle because we've got this gap between our region and the axis we're rotating about. Now, they do a really good job of, of illustrating it here, but I want to draw it out and I want you to draw it out with me so we can figure it out. It's the same premise. Okay, we're still, uh, the volume is still going to be pi times the integral, but this integral has to use the y values. It's not from 0 to 3. Look at it y value wise, it's from 0 to 9. Okay, it's from 0 to 9. Okay, you kind of got to turn your head and think, okay, so 0 to 9. Okay, now our outer radius, I just showed y'all this a second ago, but you go from your axis of rotation to the furthest part of the region to figure it out. So every time we have this two, this uh, uh, space of two, and then the rest of it is determined by the, not the y value, actually in this case it's the x value. So that means we've got to solve our equation here for x. So we subtract the 9, divide by negative 1, and take the square root. And we are considering the positive square root because we have positive x values here. So our outer radius here is the square root of 9 minus y plus 2 minus our inner radius. We start on our axis of rotation. We draw to the closest part of the region. That never changes. It is always 2. So minus 2 squared. This is with respect to y because we have y in our equation. Now, when you type it into your calculator, you're still going to type it in with the x. Um, but when you're writing it on your paper or if you see this as a multiple choice setup, they're going to have that y in there. Yes, sir. We we don't do these with the line in the middle of the region. No, because how do you determine what your outer radius? It, it would end up overlapping itself. Yeah, yeah. The line should the axis of rotation should never be in the middle of your region. Okay, if it is, then something's wrong with your calculations. Okay, um, y'all doing that in the calculator right now? I don't have the number yet. Hmm? 225 pi over 2. Do we agree? Okay. All right. So, it, I mean, it, like I said, it's the exact same premise. We're just doing it in terms of y. So most of the time you're going to have to solve your equation for x um, before you can do it. Okay, so you've got to solve your equation for x, but it's the exact same process. Start on your axis of rotation, draw to the furthest part of the region. That's your outer, that's your outer uh, radius. Okay. Well, yes, because we're rotating about a vertical axis. Um, so. This part right here is not a y value. That part is an x value. That distance is your x value right there. So you have to solve for x. Okay? 